Hello everyone, George is here. I would like to welcome you to Tech to Tinker YouTube channel where technology is explored and shared. This project is an 8 degrees of freedom robot. It is called 8DOF robot because it has 8 servo motors. It has 2 servos for the left and right ankle. 2 servos for the left and right knee, 2 servos for the left and right hips, and 2 servos for the left and right shoulder. There is no movement for the shoulders yet because I am focused with the walking implementation. This is my long and forgotten project because of its complexities. Like, number one, how to control multiple servo motors at the same time. Number two, how to control servo motors in the staggered timing. Number three, how to control it wirelessly. Number four, how to make it work. With this, to solve the complexity, for number one, how to control multiple servo motors at the same time, I use what they call proto-trading, which is basically the blink without delay in the examples of Arduino IDE. With proto-trading, it seems like the microcontroller is doing multiple tasks at the same time. Tasks like checking the command from wireless PS2, setting the command, setting the requested angle of its servo motors, rotating the servo motors, updating the LCD display, and updating the serial for debugging purposes. For number two, how to rotate servo motors in staggered timing, I use what they call a state machine, which is tracking the current angle of the servo, servo versus the requested angle for that specific servo motors and rotating it gradually. I also added a protection check on each side of the servo motors to prevent it from overturning. This is achieved by comparing the current angle versus the minimum and maximum angle possible. For number three, how to control it wirelessly, I achieved this by using a wireless PS2 controller. The PS2 receiver is connected to the microcontroller. Then I use the Bill Porter's Arduino library for PS2. Number four, how to make it work. This is the hardest part because I cannot find a sample code online to follow. There is a research paper I found but the angle mentioned are too ideal and when followed will result to robot falling down. So what I do is by trial and error in simulating how human walks. I use a four stage per step walking like number one lean to the left, number two right foot forward up, number three right foot forward down, and number four, balance foot with the right. This is also the same with the other side. At last, after many hours of tinkering and code troubleshooting, I am able to make it work. So now I am going to power it on. With this, we are going to use a PS2 wireless controller in controlling the, our uh, 8 degrees of freedom robot. So we are going to power it on. By pressing the left arrow, we'll make it walk one step forward, left foot first. By pressing the right arrow, we'll make it walk one step forward, right foot first. By pressing the arrow up button, we'll make it walk forward. Pressing the arrow down button will make it stop.
pressing the R1 at the same time with the arrow left will make it walk backward one step left first. Pressing the R1 at the same time with the right arrow will make it step backward right first. Pressing the R1 at the same time with the arrow up button will make it walk backward. Pressing the arrow down button will make it stop. If you enjoyed this video, please support my channel by subscribing. You may also click the notification bell so that you may notify immediately when a new video is uploaded. Leave your comments and suggestions in the comment box. That's all folks. George signing off. Thank you. Bye.